what is up welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is kate if you are not new welcome back to another vlog today is december 30th it's the day before new year's eve and my christmas tree is now gone i am like sad about it but i'm also kind of like happy about it in a way not happy but like excited for the new year like i'm like really excited to see what this new year brings and tomorrow i'm gonna make a list of my 2022 goals i always do that on new year's eve so i'm excited to see what 2022 brings it's so fun like looking at goals you make and then like looking back at them and seeing if you achieved them and if you didn't obviously that's okay but what you need to work on in order to achieve them but yeah today is such a gloomy day i feel like i say that all the time in my vlogs i'm like today is such a gloomy day but that's just how it is in new england like sometimes i literally feel like i live in seattle washington or like london or something like the weather in the winter time is just like always gross and it's like so annoying i thrive when the weather is nice and when it's sunny outside and warm like also i'm gonna throw my gum out because it's like annoying me on my instagram story today i was saying how like my energy today is just not there like the energy level is just non-existent today i just feel like tired and like really unmotivated almost and i'm just going to listen to my body take it slow today take the day slow take it one step at a time i did a 20 minute spin class this morning and i don't know what it was like i it was like so hard for me like usually i can keep up but this morning was just i don't know what was wrong with me and i think i just need to let my body rest i used to always ignore when i felt this way so i'm trying to be like more in tune with my body and when i feel like i need rest i need to slow down and rest and take it slow it's 10 43 i just made my bed usually i make my bed like right after i get up but like i was saying it's been a slow day i think i'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail and like slick it back because this is just crazy it's getting so out of hand i made an appointment to get my hair cut on january 7th but i think I'm going to put it in a ponytail, like a slicked back ponytail. I'm gonna show you how I do it too because I always get questions on how I slick my hair back and I have to run out and do a few errands. I have to drop off some stuff for Poshmark. And then I also kind of want to go to Bed Bath & Beyond to get a waffle maker. So random, but like I have a gift card to go there. Maybe Crate and Barrel because I also have a gift card to go there because i got some gift cards for christmas and if you didn't already you can watch my christmas haul in the corner right here i'll put it on the screen i always forget like which side but i will put it on the screen so you can go and watch that so the gel that i use to do my sleek ponytail or whatever i'm doing is the american crew firm hold styling gel i really like this gel because it doesn't like leave your hair hard and like weird and gross but what i'm first going to do is use this little i need to stop saying little in front of literally everything i say like i don't get it i'm going to use this comb and create a middle part or at least try to because i have a cowlick right here and my hair like goes this way naturally so i always just do the best i can in making a middle part so there we go <laughs> my hair just looks so weird and crazy it kind of takes me a couple tries too sometimes if my hair is like being really annoying that day, I just try to get it as precise as possible. I'm going to take a little bit of gel and run it between my fingers and kind of just like pat it down just to make sure the flyaways are like not going crazy. Then what I'm going to do is just take a normal hairbrush. I just have the wet brush and I'm just going to comb it and make sure there's like no lumps or anything like i usually get lumps in the back like underneath my hair so i just like to like make my guideline for my bun and then i'm just gonna put it in a little ponytail for now not like the final product i just like to 
put it up just to get it out of my face. The key to doing like a really sleek bun is this brush. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like this and the bristles are like really dense and rough. It's by the brand Conair. So I'm just gonna take some more hair gel, run it between my fingers and just kind of like run it along the sides of my hair. And then I just take the brush and just like really tightly go over it like five million times just so it looks nice and neat then on the other side more gel i always like to run it between my fingers so just so it's not like clumpy in my hair so then i just do the same thing on this side take the brush and just comb 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 okay so then i'm gonna take the ponytail out and then now i'm going to make it tight and do like the final ponytails and i don't know if i want to do it like up higher or kind of low today i think like right here is good so i'm just gonna tie this in my ponytail and i just like to do three knots like what would you call that i don't know so then it just looks like this and then I need some more gel, so I'm just going to take some more. Just really make sure she's nice and sleek. It's kind of like a model off-duty kind of look. But uh, there she is. Okay, so I just did an online order for Crate and Barrel because they didn't have these items in stock, I guess, by the Crate and Barrel by my house. So I just got the Marin or Marin white dinner plate and then the Mercer mini bowl. I don't know why. I'm obsessed with like plates and bowls and just like random stuff like that. I don't know. I'm weird. And especially just because I'm like taking pictures of my food all the time, like for my food account, like my food Instagram and stuff. I don't know. I'm weird like that. So I just ordered that and then I think I'm gonna go to Bed Bath & Beyond to get a waffle maker because I don't have one. I really want one to make like waffle recipes for my Instagram, like my food Instagram, like I was just saying. So I'm getting my shoes on. I also have to stop by my dad's house. I'm gonna take my gift cards put them in my bag and run some errands this is why i love getting gift cards for christmas because i can just take myself out on a little date and go shopping I just ran into Bed Bath and & Beyond and it's so crowded in there. Oh my gosh, like this week is school vacation week so everybody is out and about. But I found the mini waffle maker. It's by the brand Dash and this is the exact one that I wanted so I was so happy that they had it. I just got a nail polish because I'm obsessed with nail polish and this is the Gel Couture line that Essie has and I'm actually obsessed with it because that's what I have on my nails right now and I really like the way that it looks so I got this color it's like a brown shimmery color so I got that and then I got this elf lash and eyebrow gel because I have this but it's running out so I wanted to pick up a new one and I couldn't find it at CVS or Target the other day so yeah I'm like obsessed with using this for my eyelashes and my eyebrows to set them in place so that is everything that i got so it is now the next day today is friday it's actually new year's eve i'm putting on some lotion right now because my hands are so dry i'm seriously like always putting on chapstick or hand lotion because it's just so cold and gross but yeah it's new year's eve and currently have no plans there's like no reservations anywhere and this is what happens when you wait till the last minute to make a reservation for new year's eve but i actually just made one at a stereo ninos it's called 
it's an italian restaurant and i'm not that crazy about it but i'd rather like go there than not go anywhere because i love going to dinner i love getting ready dressing up going to dinner it's like a whole fun experience so i made reservations to go there with zach later at seven so if we can't find anything else we'll probably just go there but yeah it's new year's eve i'm about to make an angel food cake because tomorrow my family is coming over for new year's day we're gonna get chinese food and we're gonna have angel food cake for dessert with some strawberries so there's like no angel food cake at the store i don't know why like i feel like the store always has like a pre-made angel food cake but they didn't have any so we just got the little mix which i think you literally just add water to this i love angel food cake so i'm gonna make that right now probably and yeah i'm excited to see my family tomorrow it's another gloomy day so just living the dream in massachusetts got a package in from Aritzia because I used my gift cards the other day that Zach got for me for Christmas so I'm gonna open her up also I'm so sad because their holiday packaging is clearly gone I swear like Aritzia packages their stuff so well like I feel so luxurious when I open a package from Aritzia like they do such a good job so I only got three things and one of them is a pair of socks because I love Aritzia socks. They're like so comfortable. So these are the TNA Base Grip No Show socks, just in white. And then I got these super cool pants from TNA. These remind me of like early 2000s, like literal track pants, but I just think they're so cute and they're that like rich mocha brown color and i just thought they were like very different and unique and i've never seen these before on their website so i'm gonna try these on and show you because i think they're so freaking adorable and then i just got this fleece it looks super comfortable i'm so excited about this i'm gonna try it on so this is what the sweater looks like this is so comfortable and so cute i'm obsessed with this i have one from abercrombie that's like a sherpa one i like love this one because it's not as fluffy and big so i love this these are the little track pants these are so cute i am so obsessed with these oh my gosh i love the color of them they're so comfy so soft i seriously feel like i'm in like an early 2000s movie right now so i'm gonna be wearing these so much and i feel like they're different than joggers like i wear joggers all the time so i feel like these will be a cute new go-to so that is my really tiny aritzia haul
yesterday was New Year's Day. I had my family over, like I said earlier. We had Chinese food, Zach came over. But then on New Year's Eve, we ended up going to Del Frisco's Grill in Boston instead of going to Nino's, which was really yummy. Yeah, it was cool. Yeah, it was good. I've never been there before. And we didn't end up eating till like quarter and nine and our reservations were at 6.45 because it was so busy and our waitress was saying that everybody in the kitchen has COVID. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it was just really busy, but that was super fun. We didn't even stay up till midnight. No. We both went to bed when we got home. So now I'm ending the vlog. I have to finish editing it, like add finishing touches. Yeah. See you guys. But if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed. Subscribe guys. To my Come on. Yeah. Like Subscribe. this video. Like, comment, ring the bell, notifications. <laughs> <laughs> you always make it funny. Okay, bye.